How y'all? What y'all doing out there? Everybody that dis uh, subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you. Tell a friend about my channel. Um, I really appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, but I want to tell you guys something funny. Some, some funny that happens to me. So, I was sitting in my car, minding my own business. And, uh, I was smoking. This little boy came up to me and tapped me on my hand. And he said like this. My, 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 my mama said, my mama said that I shouldn't be around people that smoke. Because I got asthma. This little boy had a mask on. He pulled his mask down to tell me that. I was so shocked. I said, boy, go with your daddy. And his daddy was calling him. And I was like, what? After he left, I had so many things to say. Like, boy, if you got asthma, why are you right here? Don't go by people that's smoking. I know he was trying to do a public announcement, but don't do that. Don't don't do that. <laughs> it was it was just too funny. So um, another thing that happened to me way back when is uh, <laughs> I was talking. This is when internet first started, and I was coming out and every. Well, I wasn't coming out. I was trying to find a girl and all that. And so I was talking to this girl, and she lived in Arizona. And <laughs> we talked about three or four months on the phone. And she told me she's she going to come and see me. She said, we're going to U-Haul this. I was like, at that time, I didn't know what U-Haul meant. So <laughs> she said she was going to U-Haul it. So I said, okay. So... I called one of my friends and I was like, you know, if I call you and hang up, call me back and, and, and I can act like it's an emergency, you know, just in case I, you know, I don't want to talk to this girl or I don't want to be with her. So do you know, this girl wasn't joking. She lived on the reservation and she said she had her own place. She was just telling me this, and I'm just thinking, she's just telling me this. She's just giving me this information. So I said, okay. This girl drove down to my house with a U-Haul and boxes. She came in my house with a handful of boxes. And I was like, what you doing? She said, you ain't packed nothing. She said, I told you I was bringing a U-Haul. I was shocked. I was like... <laughs> Are you serious? So, I had to call my friend. So, mind you, it was kind of mean because she did drive a long ways. But that scared me. It, it really did. It scared me. So, I said, um, we, we, I said, um, I got to go. I got an emergency. Something, you know, I got an emergency. So, she said, well, I'll stay here and start packing. I said, no, no, no. No, no, no. I got to go. So you got to go. So I'm um, I'm 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 at the door opening the door and she was like, "No, I just drove a long ways." You know, and I was like, "I understand that. You can go to a motel or hotel until I get back, but you can't stay here." And um so she was like, "Well, um I just want to help you out and pack some of your stuff." And I was like, "I don't need no help packing." So after that, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it because that was a little strange. She actually bought a U-Haul to my house with boxes, and she was serious. Talking about, I'm going to be hers. And I was like, you scaring me, and you live on a reservation, and I don't know nobody. Nope. Nope. Not going to do that. So that happened. So, um... Another thing happened was I was um I was in a store 
And this is when OJ had got, um, they said that he didn't kill his wife. So that's when that happened, right? So I was in a store and it was a, a, a Caucasian lady. So I'm putting my hand out so she can give me my change. She set it on the counter. So I was like, what? I'm looking around. And I was like, what? Can you pick my change up and put it in my hand? And she said, it's right there. It's right there. And I was like, I'm finna make a scene. And I never do that. I said, I'm finna make a scene. So she picked my change up and she put her hands like that and put it in my hand. And I was like, she was like, so he got off. Who? OJ. I said, I don't know OJ. I don't know him. Just because he got off, that don't mean that have anything to do with me. I said, you can't blame every black person. And then I was like, matter of fact, I don't want none of this. Get my money back. I don't want none of it. Now. And I held up the line, too. I didn't even care. I said, woman, what the heck? I said, people are crazy. But, yeah, that happened to me. So, you know, I work in L.A. And when I first came to L.A., women were looking me up and down. And I was like, do they know me? I was like, because, you know, I used to live, you know, I used to live in Compton. So I'm thinking, they might know me. So they was looking me up and down. So one day, this lady stopped and looked me up and down. I said, do you know me? No, nah, I don't know you. I said, why are you looking at me like that? You, 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 you what? Get it out. So she said, no, I don't know you. And she kept, and she walked away. I was like, people are something else. What, what, what's going on? But they still do me like that. I don't know why. So needless to say at my job, I don't have any, any women friends. I have, they all men that try it and get at you. And you know, you got to bust a bubble be like, bruh. I want the same thing you want. We playing on the same team and you don't even know it. So just be my friend. That's all I'm looking for. So, you know, you have to put that out there. That's, ex you know, exclusive. You got to tell them because you don't want them. Mm, <laughs> you look good today, bruh. Stop. Stop it. One guy told me, um, I was talking to two guys at once, standing outside talking to two guys, and uh, that guy said, you interested in him? And I was like, no. And he was like, let me take you out. I said, out where? We're already outside. And he was like, let me buy you a drink. I said, I don't drink. Let me buy you some dinner. I don't eat. Let me, I said, you not getting it. I don't want to do none of that with you. You're not getting it. So stop. Every time I see him, he be like, you still don't drink? Nope. I don't even drink water. Get off of me. But yeah, these men up here, it's so funny though. It's so funny because you know how older people, they got their hat, they got their suits, they got their shoes is matching the canes. All the men dress like that up here. And I'm like, where they going? This is the hospital. Where, where they going? I guess they would want to be casket sharp, huh? I was like, dang, man. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, people are something else. I try and always keep a smile on my face and people always say why you always laugh I said I'm not laughing I'm smiling let's get it right because you know I don't want to be looking mean all day I don't want to do that 
I don't want people to be like, oh, she, she, mm, she, she this. But I don't really care. Let's get that straight. I don't care. They can think what they want to think. Point blank, period. They can think what they want to think because, hmm, baby, I'm going to do me all day. I'm going to do me all day. Whoever don't care, you got a problem. Yeah, it's a warm day today. It's a warm day. What are you guys going to do for this weekend? What y'all going to do? I want to do something fun. I want to go somewhere and do something. You know, we've been on lockdown for so long. You scared to go out, huh? I am. I know when it first, when they first said that we can go into restaurants, me and my girlfriend went into this restaurant and I was flipping out. And I was like, these people are, you know, they passing me. They passing me. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm, I'm having bad anxiety. I'm like, I said, we got to go. We, we got to go. Let's pack this up. We got to go. I had to leave. I had to leave. Because I had my anxiety said, woo, I couldn't do it. So we left and I went home because I need an anxiety pill. Why are you playing? Yeah. But now, you know, I want to go to a restaurant. I want to do different things now. Because you know what? Life is too short to be standing still, you know? It's too short. I'm too short. So, but we're going to do this. But I, I, I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. I seen that uh, U.S. Outsiders subscribe to my channel. I was so happy. I was so happy because I love them. I love them. I love them. I love Tasha. I love Be Love. I love them all. I watch them all. I be <laughs> last weekend. That's all I did. Sitting up there watching everybody's channel. Everybody's channel. I just be watching, laughing, laughing. My girlfriend probably be like, oh, YouTube again. Yes. We have another TV, baby. But she, now she be watching, too. And she likes to see, oh, I like that meme. Oh, we should do that. She don't even want to get on the camera. But, yeah. So I was happy about that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to get back in. In my job. And, um. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Boom. Bye.